Hi guys, I'm James Abadi and welcome to the Ultimate Visual Elements Pack. Today I'm going to really briefly talk you through how you can drag and drop some of these assets or elements into your project to help enhance them. Now as you can see I already have some footage loaded onto my project so what I'm going to do is grab the HUD2 HD footage, drag this on top now as you can see it has a black background on this element so you can't actually see the footage underneath. To reveal this all you simply have to do is find your blending mode option and go to lighten. Now there's several different blending modes you can use. I'm going to use lighten just for the sake of this quick tutorial. As you can see now the element and the footage are running together. Looks really nice, straightforward, simple effect to use sure you'll be able to work that one out. Now, the next thing you can do, instead of combining the footage together, you can actually use your element. So as you can see, it has the black background, as I mentioned. Now you can go to your effects, find the tint option, drag this onto your element. Now you have black and white here. Obviously the black represents the black, the white represents the white in the element. Now, all you can do is change the white to, let's go for a nice, ready kind of hot pink now as you can see that's changed the white and we can get the black change this to a sort of dark blue yeah that looks kind of cool let's go with that now this is obviously playing on its own the colors have been customized to some extent you can again use the blending mode options i'm going to try let's go with overlay see what that does it's not Maybe not the best option, but you can see it's a bit more of a subtle effect. It's a bit dark. My go-to overlay for using elements on top of footage is generally speaking lighting. As you can see, we now also have that blue and red tint with the effect that we added to the element. That looks pretty nice. You know, you can mess around here. Classic difference, that looks kind of cool if that's the effect you're going for. In fact, that does look pretty sick. Let's go with that. Okay guys, next up we have a clipping mask. Another really straightforward effect. What I've done here already is drag in visual element 3 HD into my timeline. And I'm gonna get a text layer. Let's write in, let's just go with text. Let's align this to the center of the project. Okay now, you need to get your tracking map options up. To do this, you just toggle through the modes here at the bottom on After Effects anyway. And what you'll do is you place your text, your text layer will be directly above the layer that you want to track it to. Go to Alpha Map Text. Now, as you can see, the visual three element is now within the text. If we press play, you can see it creates a really nice effect to the text. Really straightforward. Now, what we can do here is use one of our alpha channels. So I'll take that alpha map, that uh, tracking map off. Just, let's just get rid of the text layer. And let's use the orb spin alpha channel layer, alpha file. Now, as you can see, it's just playing over the top of the uh, visual three. Now what we can do here again is track this to the orb spin layer. Now this will play within the actual orb spin really straightforward effect again there. So that's click masks. Another thing that you can use the visual elements pack to enhance your project with. Okay guys, so that's my first small tutorial wrapped up on how to implement these assets into your projects. I had a few requests from people, mainly hobbyists who weren't too sure how to use the free sample pack. So if you're a hobbyist, maybe you've picked up a few tips and techniques now that can help improve your workflow and allow you to actually use these elements in your projects. If you're more of a professional, you know, you probably didn't pick up too much there. I'm gonna hopefully touch on some more advanced techniques um, and ways that you can, you know, use these to in enhance your project, like I say. Um, I obviously used After Effects for this tutorial a lot of these effects work across the board, so maybe you use Premiere Pro or some different software, so you can potentially use these um, techniques in your software. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create.